We all rely on fresh food and growing fresh food depends on good quality soil. But how do we figure out where the best soil is for growing crops? Hi, I'm Seanan and we're here at the Queensland Government Eco Sciences Lab and we're here to show you how we find out. Soil can come in many forms, but it's typically made up of a mixture of sand, silt and clay with minerals, particles of rock and organic matter like decaying plants. We've been given the job of testing all kinds of soils in Australia's north to find out where crops like sorghum, Asian greens and even mangoes can be grown. But Northern Australia is a huge region, roughly five times the size of France. So we focused on three main areas that are all water catchments because water is critical for crop production. Our CSRO team spent 120 days in the field surveying over 500 sites and we brought over 3,000 samples back here to the lab. Soils that are rich in organic carbon, hold moisture well and don't erode are the qualities that most successful crops really depend on. So how do we test our soil samples for all of these qualities? There are lots of ways. Let's start with the simplest, the colour test. Our soil's colour can give us instant information. A rich brown means the soil is likely to be highly productive. Whereas a dull grey colour tells us the soil is leached. The nutrients have long been stripped away by factors like rainfall. Our next test is called the soil slaking test. It will help us tell if the soil is susceptible to erosion. All we do is add rainwater. Using a beaker, we submerge soil into deionized water to simulate rainwater. If the water remains clear, it means that the soil particles are binding together. If it gets dirty, the soil is crumbling apart, just like erosion. So soil slaking quickly tells us the erodibility of the areas these soils were collected from. When we need to know a soil's exact properties, we use this piece of equipment, a carbon nitrogen analyzer. First, we place a soil sample into a small ceramic dish. The sample is loaded into the carbon nitrogen analyzer where it's heated to around 1300 degrees. That's more than five times hotter than a regular kitchen oven. The soil bursts into flames, converting the carbon and nitrogen in the soil into gases, which are then analyzed and displayed here. This data can tell us the soil's levels of carbon and nitrogen, which are both vital for soil that's fertile, productive and sustainable. All of these tests will help us determine where in Northern Australia could become farmland for crops. So not long from now, a few of your favourite fruit and veggies might just come from the outback. <laughs>